Hi guys, welcome back to A Case of Econ Struggles. Welcome to another Sunday Stata Tip. Today I'm going to show you how to fill in missing data using the ipolate command in Stata. So what I've got here is I've got the auto data that we've worked with pretty extensively in these videos. And what I've done is just kind of remove the miles per gallon information from some of these observations. So like all these guys are gone and we're basically trying to estimate what the miles per gallon of these cars would be based on their price. So what I've done over here is I've got a scatter plot of miles per gallon and price. Then I've put a L fit line what we're going to do is we're going to have stay use this line to predict the missing miles per gallons from our data so i'm just going to close out of this i'm going to say ipolate which is the and then we're going to do the variable we're going to estimate which is miles per gallon and the variable we're going to use to estimate which is price and i'm going to say generate and this is going to be called i don't know mpg underscore standard and we are going to get those results now notice that when stata has a value so it's got this 15 it's not going to re-estimate it's going to keep the 15 exactly as is and same with this 16 and 19 it's not going to estimate those it's just going to use what we've got but for these missing miles per gallon it used the price to estimate them so now we have estimated values for those. Now, if you were to run some regressions, you would have extra observations where all the data is filled in and you could use them. So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how the ipolate command works and one additional way to fill in some missing data. If this was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next week for another Sunday Stata tip here on In Case of Econ Struggles.